Hellos. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, and Happy Feet are the seven playable regions in the game. But did you know that all those regions used to be one large area? Before the update, the world map used to look like this. This was called Pangea. It kind of looks like a chicken thigh. This was the original world and everyone loved playing it since it made traveling so much easier compared to now. But there was no incentive to explore the deep depths of the ocean and find rare items like black pearls, Poseidon's trident, and my happiness. So then the devs decided to implement a massive update. The update expanded the world, brought massive changes and overhauls to the game, and it really quote unquote f the players. Which is ironic because we're the ones f***ing it right now. The update required several patches before it was completely implemented, mainly because the update was so big and fat full of content that the game engine couldn't handle the update all at once. So each patch that was part of the update progressively changed the game and the world until we have the world as it is now. When the first patch of the update landed onto the game, it was relatively light. Pangea broke apart, but only by a little bit, resembling a slightly eaten chicken thigh. Players were still able to travel to most parts of the world by land, but there would be times where they would have to cross rivers or other small bodies of water. Loot could also be found underwater, but it wasn't very impressive. You would only find common items like rocks, sand, and disappointment. All of this was to introduce the players the idea of traveling on water and to incentivize underwater exploration. For the next patch, the chicken thigh looked more eaten than before and each area of the world was starting to look distinct from each other. With these new distinctions, some of the animated malice or otherwise known as animals were removed from the game and new ones were introduced, like the stegosaurus and the marinosaurus that could only be found in specific locations of the world, further encouraging players to explore. However, since the update is so massive, new forms of travel like sailing had to be introduced to help players get around and look for these animals. Not only that, new environmental hazards were added to exploration. The update caused hurricanes, earthquakes, and tsunamis to randomly appear to make exploring more exciting. To be honest, even after many years since the update was finished, we still haven't completely discovered everything that came with it. But it's because of this that drives players to see what she has left in her, to become explorers. When the biggest and final patch of the update arrived, it made the game so much better than it was. There were new dungeons, new caverns, new challenges, new areas, new quests, more animals, more money, more problems, more items, and more foods. Which is really not that surprising given how the update had so many things in store for us. And let's not forget, a new world. The update finally demolished that chicken thigh to seven different regions that we all know and love. But if you look closely, it wasn't just a chicken thigh. Rearranging the regions reveals that the update actually demolished the whole chicken, a whole pig, and even a whole cow. Which is really not that surprising given what the update was called. Your mom. Oh!